Using a simple radar gun reading kilometres per hour, we could measure the speed of our penalties. But after 10 attempts, I'd only manage a top speed of 82 kilometres per hour. That's just over 50 miles per hour. We needed help, so we called in some experts who take their footy a bit more seriously. Now, the speed of the ball when you kick it is achieved by the transfer of energy from the muscles in your body through your foot to the ball. Kicking the ball as hard as possible is all about transferring as much energy as possible into the ball. Firstly, energy builds in the run-up. Then swinging your leg from the hip adds even more energy. And then at the very last second, straightening your leg from the knee increases the velocity of your foot even further. Finally, as your foot connects with the ball for just 16 milliseconds, all of that energy is transferred to the ball. Yeah. Look at this guy, 111 kilometers an hour. That's nearly 69 miles an hour. But not only is that some way off the world record of 80.1 miles per hour, it's also nowhere near the speed of sound. So, with simple kicking out, we had to explore other options. And I was thinking the best way to make something go quickly is to attach a whopping great engine to it. Now that is a dragster, designed expressly to accelerate from there to there incredibly quickly. And I want to find out firsthand what that feels like. Santa Pod Racetrack and a 9.8-litre engine dragster were the perfect way to experience the type of accelerations I was going to need to put my football through to get it supersonic. As we would only have a limited space in which to score the goal, acceleration was crucial. We needed to reach our top speeds very quickly. Here we go! Here we go! This is it! This is the one! <sighs> my heart is in my mouth right now. Oh my god! 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 At its peak, my dragster was going at 169 miles per hour. But it's this thing's acceleration that is truly impressive. It gets from 0 to 100 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds. So, the big question, what makes this car so fast? Well, oxygen-rich fuel and huge sticky tyres that don't slip and waste power are important. But the most important factor in carrying a car like this as quickly as possible is its power-to-weight ratio, giving the car as much power as possible and making it as light as possible. Our football is very, very light. And so, if I could strap it to something delivering a monumental amount of power, that could give it enough acceleration to blast it through the sound barrier. And while Jason was getting all fast and furious, my method of scoring a supersonic goal was going to use a very different power source. Jason's dragster, of course, uses constant force to keep it moving and keep it accelerating. But being a bit of a purist, I want to devise a method of scoring a supersonic goal with a kick. That is force that impacts on my ball and sends it flying into the goal. And with explosives, you can get one hell of a kick. The basic principle of a gun is simple. The explosion of gunpowder causes the air behind the bullet to expand instantaneously, blasting the bullet out of the barrel with enough force to propel it, in this case, supersonically. All I need to do now is find a gun big enough to let me fit my football down the barrel. And I reckon I've got this challenge sewn up. Marvellous. So, we'd both chosen different methods for getting our ball supersonic. I would be staying traditional and kicking mine, hitting it with enough force to punch it through the sound barrier. Whereas after my ride in the dragster, I wanted to find a way of strapping a flipping great big engine to mine, which would then accelerate it to and then through the sound barrier. Oh my God!